Team Keep It Clean. Well, welcome to a another episode of the Team Keep It Clean podcast. Uh, I really do appreciate you all taking the time out of your day. Again, whether you're going to work, you're going to school, you at work or at school, you around the house, you're chilling, you're cleaning up, you're just vibing, whatever you're doing. Uh, thank you for being willing to listen to the podcast. Thank you for uh, just showing support because it's uh, it, it does really mean a lot to me. Um, and and I, I appreciate it a lot uh, because you could be doing a, a lot of other things right now. And you might actually be doing a lot of other things right now, which is cool because I, when I'm listening to stuff, I always got something going on in the background, too. So I, I appreciate you all. Uh, and I, I thank you all for, again, supporting. Um, on today's episode, shout out to my guy, Rainmaker, um, who he, he's a patron. And we were uh, we were just talking back and forth, having a conversation. Um, and he said that actually maybe it would be a good conversation for, to have on the podcast sometime. And he said just talking about fathers and and our responsibilities. Um, and that's something that's very very uh, important, I think, um, because father and especially with that you know I, I can't even say just especially with sons um but it, it is with daughters too now for me i, I can obviously relate more because I, I have a son um and it's it's just crazy seeing how and i just not in like a cocky way or anything like that or arrogant way um but it, it's crazy to see how much like he really wants to be like like you and and he, he watches everything literally watches everything that i do watches it remembers it and then a lot of times he will uh do do some of the same stuff as well now um before we get into this uh, i gotta give a shout out to manscape manscape is uh they a sponsor for this video um and you of course can hit up manscape you want to be extra team keep it clean uh you can hit up manscape go on manscape.com uh, use code keep it clean to get the 20 percent off your order uh plus free shipping they have a lot of different uh packages that you can get um depending on what it is you that you want to do and what you want to clean up but they they will definitely take care of you so shout out to manscape y'all make sure y'all hit them up now um as far as uh for for carter because again he he watches everything but me especially as a father he's watching every single thing that i do very closely whether i think he is or not whether it seems like he is or not he watches watches it all and a lot of times he'll be like oh dad remember when you did this daddy remember when you said this well, Dad, remember when when you did this? It, he he remembers, man. And a lot of times it can be so annoying, man. But I'm he he got a really good memory. He got a really good memory. A lot of times I wish he would use that memory and, and listen a little more. But no, nah, man, he's 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 a good kid, man. He's not a not a bad kid, anything like that. Um, and he keeps all his non-listening he keeps it in house he doesn't act up when we go somewhere if we go to like if we were to go to a restaurant we were at the kingdom hall we were at a friend's house or we were in a store or wherever we might be at he does not act up he doesn't so he's grown a lot over the years especially like one thing that i noticed that i really appreciate from carter uh is that and this really happened over like the past two years for sure and it might have been a little bit longer but i remember there were times when we would be at a store and he would see <clears throat> maybe he might see like a toy or something that he wanted and he would even pick it up and that you know that can make it worse like you grab the toy and if you look at something that you want it's bad enough but then when you actually physically touch it and it's like oh okay yeah all right yeah i really want to buy this now that, that can make it that like 10 times worse but when we would be in the store he would pick up a toy be like oh i want this and if we tell him no then but why but why but i want it uh, but now if he picks something up and we say no we, we don't need that no we're not gonna get that they just put it back they put it back there won't be any complaining won't be any whining and to me that that is it is it's so weird sometimes man when he does that i get kind of like creeped out like whoa where, where, where's the why at where's the where's the whining at 
Where, where'd it go? But I ain't complaining about it. Um, but back to um, the the subject uh, about being fathers and our responsibilities. It, it's very important. Uh, and, and me, I, I like to. Um, I think a lot of my being a father is for me is based off of experience from what I've seen and what I have haven't seen too. I, and what I mean that like y'all y'all know already that I, I didn't grow up with my father. Um my mom now she again she never never spoke badly about him. Never there was never not one negative word about him. So I think that helped me with him a lot too. Because in every situation is different, so I ain't knocking anybody who's uh, if if their parents may have went their separate ways or something, and one of the parents may not have the best things to say about the other parent or whatnot. Because every situation is different, but I think her the fact that she never had anything negative to say about him, um, that that helped me to not hate him. Because, for instance, if, if she would have been like in my ear, like, oh, he's this, he's that, da, 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 then especially over, over time, over time, I would have just been hearing that same thing over and over again. And it would have been like, oh, man, this dude, he's this and he's that. Oh, man, I hate him. I can't stand him. But it was never any of that. So with my father, um, he just it was just one of those things where I know I knew that he was somewhere. And it was just like, oh, okay, cool. It is what it is. Um, and I was just, I was whatever about it. I, that, that's always how it's been. I, I've just been whatever about him. And I always say, you, you can't miss something that you don't know. And I don't think you can really have feelings for something that you don't know. So I never hated him. I never, like, I never loved him because I didn't, I didn't know him. That was it. I just, I didn't know him. But through that, he showed me from his absence, he showed me exactly what I didn't want to do. Because I think it's very, very important um, because it creates a balance, too. And again, like I said, every single situation is different. So I'm not knocking anybody's situation at all. At all. Things happen. And know that we are we're all imperfect people. Things happen, relationships happen, sometimes they go south, stuff happens. Um, but I think it's very, very important, if they can be, that both the father and the mother can be in a child's life. And that's whether they are together or not. Now, there, of course, are some parents that make it hard. There can be some dads that make it hard on the mom. There can be some moms that make it hard on the dad for, for them to be in the child's lives. And that can be very unfortunate. Um, but again, every situation is different. Sometimes some moms or some dads may feel like it's, it's the best for that parent not to be in the child's life. Because, see, it could be one of those instances where the one of the parents, they know how the opposite parent is and, and they know their tendencies. And they may be like, I don't just want you... To um, I don't just want you to show up in the kid's life one day and then boom, you disappear again. So the kid's looking for you and wondering where you're at and, and, and they have this sort of emptiness. So that, that could be a situation. Is it right or wrong? I, I'm not the one to say, but every situation is different. But I think the, the, the children certainly benefit uh, when, the, when the parents, uh, whether together or not, have a healthy relationship because there's so many bad relationships out there uh so many people that go through bad experiences out there um and it's it's tough now me i'm very grateful for my mom because uh even though it was just me and her my experience it wasn't bad it it, it, it wasn't bad at all and like i said i i did not have like the, she didn't develop this any hateful tendencies in me towards him whatsoever so that's what made my experience not be a bad one. So when I first met him, like, what is it called? It's five now. So I met him like six, six, seven years ago. I think six and a half, something like that. It was way before Carter was born. So maybe like seven years ago. I met him a way while back. Um, but 
when I when I had first met him, um, my expectations were not high. We we just happened to be uh, in in the area in Atlanta. Um, looked him up, went to the house, and knocked on the door. Me and my wife. We, it was crazy. It was crazy. Like thinking about that. Like well, just l- looked him up, went to the house, and just knocked on the door. It was like, oh hey. But um, we did that, and he came to the door. He was like, uh, I was like, I was like, hi. I was like, are you? Da-da-da-da? He said, yeah. And I said, I'm Justin. And he was like, what? oh, he's like, oh, da-da-da-da. so, and it, it was cool. We um, we he took us out to eat. Took me and my wife to eat, and then we went to. He took us to the mall after that. We were walking around, he told us how he, he owns a barbershop, and he told us how, uh, oh, then we, when we were walking around the mall, he saw one of his friends, and he was like, oh yeah, that's my son Justin, da 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 And when he did that, I told my wife, like, not right then and there, but later on, I was like, uh, I wasn't really feeling that. I really, I didn't, I wasn't feeling that because he introduced me as if, we were like buddies and we talked and he knew me and then we hung out all the time he introduced me as if we had a relationship and not that he had to introduce me like oh this is my son justin i'm meeting him for the first time in 20 something years he, no it, he ain't had to do anything like that he ain't had to make it weird or anything but he could have just been like oh this, this is my son justin he's he's up here right now from florida but I mean, but the the way that he I, and I forgot the exact words that he said, but the way that he introduced me, he introduced me like we were like pals and buddies and stuff like that. And I was just like, uh, mm, uh, mm. but anyway, um, but it, it was it was really cool. It was weird because, again, he sounded just like me, just like an older version. And it was, it was just really weird. And that's when I was like, oh, like, OK, I know, I know that I'm a lot like my mom. Um. But that's when I found out, like, whoa, I'm a lot like my dad, too, because he, he loved football. He loved them Falcons, <laughs> and he loved, uh, he like, he loved, loved, loved the Falcons, like, love his team. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm the same way, I'm just a different bird. Uh, but then he also loved chicken wings, loved them. And I think he didn't like cheese, either. So I'm like, man, there's these weird, like, similarities, um, and it's, it's, it's so crazy how you can take on somebody's similarities who you don't even know. And like very very detailed similarities too. It's it's it's, it's like the craziest thing, man. Um, but yeah, it was just. And, and then after that, he uh, he told me he was like, yeah yeah yeah, just hit me up every anytime you want to go to a uh, Falcons game, just let me know because he had season tickets. He's just like, oh yeah, let me know. Just let me know the game you want to go to and da da and okay and, and we'll go. You just fly up and yeah, I take care of it. Say okay, cool. So then, um, was it the following year that the Ravens played the Falcons? Uh, it might have been, but there was a game. <laughs> so we, we left, we came back to Florida, and there was a game where the Falcons were playing, and it was in Atlanta. So I text him. I was like, hey, duh, duh, duh. this this will be the game that I want to, I want to go to. And he was like, uh... Oh man, I wish you would have. Um, I wish you would have let me know sooner, and I wish you really would have. Uh, yeah, man, I, I wish you would have just let me know earlier. I, I I can't do it now. And I was like, oh okay. I said no problem. So then after and and, and then I I didn't hear from him for I didn't hear from him for a little while after that. And I just deleted his number. I deleted it because I was like, what's the point? And that's it is again. It's, it's not. It wasn't off of any like. Oh man, I hate this guy. I can't stand him. He wasn't. There wasn't anything like that. But he just. He had just lived up to. What he had been like. What I had known him to be that entire time, and that just be absent. And I'm not saying that. And I wouldn't expect him to drop the world or anything. Drop that for me and oh, put, put everything to the side just to form a, and start a relationship with me. But I was just like, okay, it is what it is. Again, you can't miss what you don't know. And then when you when you finally meet something that you do know, and is that's the experience. It's like, oh, okay, cool. It is what it is. Again, no, it ain't no hard feelings at all. 
There's no hard feelings like whatsoever. But there's that. And I know sometimes my wife, um, there were a couple of times where she was like, oh, maybe you, you just sent him a picture of Carter. And I was thinking, uh, and I told her, I said, no, I don't need to. I don't need to. And you know what? It, it really reminds me of, I love the show Fresh Prince. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. A um, couple months ago, just watched the whole thing over again. Um, but that episode, boy, that episode with his dad, that episode always hits, man. Every single time I watch it. Oh, man. And I know it hits a lot of people. But for me, because that was they, everybody say, oh, man, that's Will Smith, his best scene ever. Da, 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 da. But no, that, that, that one hits different because it's like watching a video of yourself. Because uh, Will Smith, his dad, had like just randomly showed up in the town. And Will Smith, he didn't, his, he didn't have a relationship with his dad. He was super cool with his mom, super close with his mom. I am with my mom. And Will, but Will, he didn't have a relationship with his dad. Dad just shows up randomly. Uh, and Will Smith is living with his uncle at the time. There was a period in my, t my life where I lived with my uncle. So I'm like, it's, it's the same thing. Um, but then when the, the dad showed up, and uh, but in, in this case it's a little different because we had we were in Atlanta and what we were in Atlanta for when we had went to his house we went, we were there for uh, one of my wife's friends' weddings. Um, but anyway, in the Will Smith episode, his dad just showed up and his dad was like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that." He was making all these promises. He even took Will out one day. I think they went to the arcade. They went and got something to eat. So I'm like, this is the same thing. It's the same thing. So, and then he was making all these promises to it. Like, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. Oh, yeah, I, I want to take you with me for the summer uh, driving. I want to take you with me in my truck. You can come with me and work with me. And Will was all excited and stuff. Now, for that part, I, I was a little excited. I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, man, he going to let me go to whatever game I want to. Da -da 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 -da. Cool. Great. But then... Uh, Will's father He He wanted to leave Without even saying anything to Will He just Because he couldn't fulfill Those promises And I remember Uncle Phil Talked to him And he was like No You, you tell him yourself He's like I'm not gonna do your dirty work for you Now that didn't happen with my uncle But um It was the same thing The dad shows up Makes all these Sort of empty promises And whatnot, Doesn't deliver And he's gone again so that episode always hits me every single time without fail. So he showed me like that showed me what not to do with Carter. Because I'm like, uh, uh, no, that's mm -mm. and it's even hitting right now because like I, 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 I couldn't imagine that, man, like not being around for Carter, man, no, nah, man. Like, because it's, it's like, having a child, it's such a big, uh, just, it's great, man. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of, whew. I, I told y'all before, Carter, boy, he, he will test your patience like crazy. They will test it. But that's, that's not a gift that you will want to give up, man. That's not a gift that you will want to give up. Like, that's your kid. That, like, that's, that's you. That's a different version of you. One of my favorite parts about being a dad was um, once we really started seeing Carter's personality come out. I think it was like maybe after he was like one or something, maybe two, but I don't even remember the age. It probably was sooner than that. But when we really start seeing his personality come out and start seeing traits of us in him, that's when it really hit like, oh, this is you all day. And for different stuff, me and my wife, we'll still make fun of each other. Uh, and it's, it's usually for, <laughs> for any bad stuff that he'll do I'll be like, oh yeah, that, that's, that's you all day That's you, that ain't nothing but you And then if he does something else bad She'll be like, oh, that, that, there goes you right there That's you And it's funny, but it's crazy it, but, And we appreciate it Because that's us And for somebody to, to, to give up What's them To give that up And to like not have anything to do with it and, e and even when they're given an opportunity To have something to do with it They sort of neglect it No I, 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 uh. 
one one of the one of the things that I love so much um, is that is seeing my boys that I grew up with. I love seeing them uh, because most of them. I'm trying to think, maybe th there was one who kind of had his dad, but most of them, their dads were not in their lives. They they weren't. They they knew them, but their dads were not around. weren't in their lives like really at all and that's like the majority of the, the my boys that i grew up with and we all still talk to this day um but that they none of them well not none of them, but most of them didn't grow up with their dads their dads just weren't around but all of them are fathers now and all of them are in their kids lives all of them and even one of them who's not an official father his girl her daughter he's pretty much like the the, the father of her daughter cuz he takes care of her daughter like like she's his so all of them are great fathers now man and i love it man love it And I, I'm I'm proud of all of them, man. And it it, it just hits, man, because it's like, man, I'm, I'm just I'm so happy that the all of these dudes they didn't let what happened to them, they didn't take it out on their kids. They didn't do that because it's important, man. It's 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 super important. And just watching them, and and they're not like they're not like dads. That's like. Yeah, I got a kid, whatever. Da, 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 da. Like they like super, super involved, and they like really love love their kids, man. They really love their kids. One of my boys, every time I call him, I, I Facetime him randomly. If he, even if he like sitting there chilling, playing Madden or something, sitting there chilling, watching TV or something, he'll put the camera down, and his little daughter should be right next to him. Right next to him. Every single time, without fail. Um, and then one of my other guys, boy, he he got what he got four kids. I think he got four. Yeah, three daughters and a son. They like just watching them talk to each other, watching their relationship with each other. I, I love it, man. Cause I just sit back and I I watch them there how they'll be slick with each other. They'll make fun of each other, and I, I love it. I just be laughing at them like the whole time, man. Cause it's 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 such a it's a beautiful thing to see, man. Because it's it's genuine love. Like they really really love each other a lot. They 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 love each other a lot, and it's it's real, man. So I'm I'm proud of them boys, man. Proud of all of them, and I'm happy uh, that they all doing good and they all doing great by their kids, man. But that because that's important. But um, I think. With, as fathers Our responsibility Is um Just We, we gotta take care of stuff man. I think you definitely gotta be that protector Not saying that you You go out And you just Oh I'm ready to fight I'm ready to take anybody on Anything like that No but you definitely gotta be the eyes and ears When you out with your family You out with your kids and stuff You You have to be extra alert Cause uh, people are crazy People are crazy, cr insane. So you got to be on high alert like all the time. You got to watch for that stuff. Because people are wild these days, man. Um, and you also need to be a provider. Now, there, there's been times, I remember times when um, my wife, when uh, there, was, there was times where I had lost my job, but she was still working. And so she she held it down for a little bit. This was before Carter. Um, and I even remember uh, when she was pregnant, too. When she was pregnant, I remember on... What day did they... Because I, I always remember the day I get laid off by the day that uh, NBA 2K... I want to say 2K15 came out. Let me see. Let me, I'm looking up the NBA 2K15... Release date I think it's October 7th so, Yep ah, That's it Boom October 7th 2014 Cause yeah It was the one with KD on the front I ne never forget Cause she was pregnant with Carter Carter was due In Oh mm, was, Carter was due 
in July or something. What's October 10th? Yeah, so she was pregnant with Carter. I don't think we knew Carter was Carter yet. But anyway, um, to October 7th, 2014, the day that NBA 2K15 uh, came out, I got laid off from my job. I loved that job, too. I loved it. Loved it, man. Oh, I loved it. Um, and, and I told y'all about this a lot of times before. Cause I, I was doing admissions uh, for college. I loved that job. Loved it. because And, and again, the ma a manager makes such a big difference. That's why I always talk about, like on the channel, um, that with coaches, coaches make such a big difference. Because coaches, they're like managers. They are managers. It's the same way with, with us at, 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 our, at our jobs, with our managers. It's the same way with football players and their coaches. They make all the difference in the world, and they can make or break a locker room. They can make or break your career. They can make, make or break just you. It, it, it can happen, and they, they can make the world of a difference in your decisions in business. Like, if, if you really love this particular manager or coach, you'll be willing to go that extra mile to to really just go to go work for them. But anyway, um, I had lost my job on October 7th and my wife was pregnant so she, and she was working. So for a little while she had to hold it down. She had to hold it down. But we ended up bouncing back uh, and, and got our, our last job before we started doing this full time. Because um, she, yeah, we got laid off on October 7th, 2014, and we started working again, I to say February, like the middle of, it's close to the end of February. So we were out for, what's that, three, four, four months and change? Yeah, four months and change, I believe. Um, but she held it down, like, and that, that happens sometimes. Like, again, the, the husbands are still the providers now. And with providing, it's not just material, materially. It's not just monetarily. That, that's part of it, though. But just providing, uh, I think, really substance, balance, providing spiritually, um, that's, it's all important, man. And, and just being somebody who your family can really rely on. I think that's that's what uh, a big responsibility of being a, a father is. Huge responsibility. Um, and just being there, man, being there for your family. You, being being there is, is is super important. That's like the biggest thing to me. I think, like with Carter, Carter, we can get him the newest video games. Like he got like every single Mario, everything for his Switch. Um. We can get him clothes. We get him the newest Mario toys. Those things be so expensive. We had to cut back on those. But we can get him the newest this, newest that, 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 all of that. But for Carter, all he cares about is that you're there. That's it. He don't care about none of that other stuff, man. None of that other stuff. All he cares about... Is the, is the time that you spend with him. That you're actually right there with him. That's it. You don't care. Like, his day could be made by you just sitting there and watching TV with him. His day could be made by you just sitting there listening to all his, uh, his, his Mario and Bowser songs with him that he like watching on YouTube. That's all he cares about is that he cares about quality time. That's it. He don't care about nothing else. Nothing else. And that's important. Like Carter's his, Some of his favorite things to do Are to go eat at restaurants He loves when we go eat to, at restaurants And he loves when we go to hotels But why is that? What do you do when you go to a restaurant? You sit down together And you eat Together You're together What will you do at a hotel? Because it's different being home and being at a hotel Because home you, you, it's, it's funny because Usually it was <laughs> Wherever we've lived at, like, we we usually all, like, be in the same room, man. Me, my wife, and Carter. We be in the same room so much. But, so I think Carter just, he, he's so used to that, man. But what do you do when you go out to eat to, at a restaurant? You sit down together, you're having a meal. What do you do when you go to a hotel? You're, you're there in one room. Your family is there in one room. And everything you do at the hotel, you do it together. 
it ain't no separation. Like at home, I could be in one room sometimes. My wife could be in another room. Carter could be in another room. Doesn't happen too often, but it could happen. But at a hotel, it's all of y'all right there together. Because y'all y'all not gonna go se separate from each other because y'all came there as a family and you spending that time whatever you're doing at the hotel is for leisure or it could be business in some cases but with us it would be for leisure. Now I do still be doing some work from the hotel sometimes if uh if if need be, but hopefully next time whenever the next time will be that we go to a hotel, I just I I want to turn the phone off. I don't want to look at no football stuff. I nothing. I just really want to, and, and I, every, every time we do go to a hotel, I always enjoy myself a lot. We always, all three of us enjoy ourselves a lot because it's a nice break. It's a nice refresh. It's like, ah. but a lot of times, as y'all have seen, um, I will still work. I'll still do videos from there. And, but next time we go, whenever that will be, um, I would just... I I want to turn the phone off. May um might delete Twitter for those couple of days that we would be there. Some because I just I don't even want to be bothered. Nothing. Nothing. And I don't even want to get tempted to be like, all right, babe, let me real quick, let me go make this video real quick. Let me go, let me go do this video real quick. Now I will of course have videos ready. Um, but I just next time we do that i just want to enjoy the moment completely like usually i enjoy the moment like 95 percent maybe last no i say about 90 percent the 10 percent i will the 10 percent i'll be on my phone or something the 10 percent i'll be like checking stuff or something like that um but i um but that 90 percent is just loving whatever we're doing but next time we do do that i want to be 100 percent in like some of the best times that we have and, and that me personally that i have with with my wife and carter is when um if we go do something and i leave the phone in the car if we go on a walk or something if we went to the park or something if we and i just leave the phone in the car it's like oh yeah dude take a break from that get a nice little break from it get a breather from it that's good because you got to have balance, man. You got to have balance in anything and everything. I mean, so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, back to Carter. That's 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 one of the reasons why he likes the hotel so much, because I mean, there's a lot of fun stuff to do there, too. But it's it's us together. We're spending that time together. So he loves that. And it makes his day like he was so happy um, a couple weeks ago when he had the surgery. Cause my wife, she took off on a Thursday and Friday, and we would we were together, we were just together, and he was so happy, he loved it, he loved it. So, um, that would be probably the biggest thing, the the biggest responsibility that I would say is as a father, is being there. That that's the most important thing that you can do. Is be there because even if you may be struggling with something at the time you may be struggling with money you may be struggling with a job you may be struggling with the, the mother of the kid you may be struggling with anything be there as much as you can that's it so uh, team keep it clean uh, thank you all for being here um, and, and listening to the podcast uh, I appreciate it a lot um, and y'all are great. Y'all keep uh, being there for your children. And if you're not, just just try. Just try to. Because, again, every situation is different. But if you have kids, if you are, if you are a child, just uh, try to be good for your parents, man. Try to be good because it can help them a lot because you never know what they're going through. Because one thing I think with a lot of parents... Um, they, they may be struggling with stuff. They may be struggling with providing. They may be struggling with the, the other parent. They may be struggling with so different things. Um, but a lot of times the parents won't ever want to show the kid that. Because they don't want the kid to feel bad. So 
be good for your parent, man, because you never know what they're going through. I love y'all. Uh, I appreciate y'all listening. And we out.